I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. Peter Quill, tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units! Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh, I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. Hey, Gamora. You're supposed to knock. Wh what are you doing? You're supposed to be looking for money. I did. And? I don't have any. Also, what's with the dolls? Do you value your life? <laughs> Is that a trick question? Okay, yes. Mostly, I value my life. Good. Then pretend like you saw nothing and get out. See you in the lounge? Out. Got it. Open this door! I know you are in there, sentient tree! Do not think that I do not know what you are up to. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Thirty-seven units? You appear to be 8,963 units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill... I know, I know. We clearly need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean... Don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always there. holding out on My figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I will sacrifice system. your head. And take us to the majestic uh, mountains yeah, of Kakaran. Real much Guys. I think we should hear out group for once. I am Groot. He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant. Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters, and you are not a monster. He's not. He's the sweetest, most. I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! Groot, are you really offering to- No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small ugly one is clearly the correct choice. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. Really? How great? How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for yeah, it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? Well, I think Groot's more convincing, in the traditional monster sense. Groot, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Seriously flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want 
are walking this. Wow. <laughs> yep, no problem. Flying the wrong way. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one. Minor. Adjustment. <laughs> Piece of cake. <sighs> Serious. What? This way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. Nope. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. I am Groot. Don't you get all gloomy right now. It don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. So how do we impregnate it? Ah, Peter! <laughs> <laughs> Let's just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. There is nothing to figure out. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Hellbender. Good. We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant card. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? In fact, you ain't sure. Don't boat so good. <laughs> Ah. Ouch! Ugh. Hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. I face more than enough hardship. Thank you very much. We will walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Keep hiking, trip. We got this. Just don't fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. You must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to ever stop. Oh, Lord! That was way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. So we're still doing this. Yes! Guys! Focus! Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off! Yeah. 
Inside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets, but food. They sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. Where the flark is she going? The rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Now they continue ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. This husk should be easier to climb than the muddy terrain. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk. I'm going to scout ahead. Try not to kill yourself on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. All right, Rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. It still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Flark! That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Careful! Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws the size of Drax, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. Peter Quill. Did you see a monster? No, just trying to stay ready. Can you get us through here, Gamora? Whatever it takes to find Hellbender. Her name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we will have to start showing some respect. This, from the guy who calls me Harlot Spawn of Thanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it first. Guys, monster planet, dark, dangerous. Can we focus here? Are you frightened of monsters, Peter Quill? Ones. We'll need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry. Uh, dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what do you do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Put. Me. Down. He'll be fine. Just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, roll. No. Very well. Peter. It's ah! okay. He'll land on his feet. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. 
You sons of dogs! Scut bust an ass! I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I think he's making them up. He's really pissed. You can run, you free bag and flockhole! At least he's not shooting at us. He missed on purpose, right? Order the beast to do its job. Fuck it, come on, man! Cram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by 5%. I want ten. Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. Hey, Groot? <laughs> Thanks for the bridge, Rocket. If you even think of pulling that Wait, scud again. Hear that? Wake oh. up, people! Incoming! <laughs> Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her... Before am I cutting a path? They say that Lady Hellbender feels it every time you cut a piece of her jungle. An old Nova bomber. I haven't seen one of these since the war. I remember it used to take a dozen ships to bring one down. A dozen ships? Or one Chitauri infantry. I'll take that one as a compliment. Still no sign of the fortress? Nope. Now what's the hold up? Here. No. I'm just thinking someone else could cross the death pit first. Being Groot of the merchandise. Only one of just go. No, you just go. go. Don't leaders usually cross first? Not if it's dangerous. Because I need to cover everyone. Right. See, it's fine. Perfectly safe. Fine. Do not even think of pushing the assassin. There are so many better ways to kill someone. Easy does it. says there's something down there. Monster. It doesn't matter. Of course it matters. It's unstable either way. Just move. Ah, no. He's gone. That definitely saw the giant head. Rita, jump. Rita. Oh. <laughs> nice catch. You're welcome. Don't get used to it. Peter Quill. You're not alone here! I got it. But I 
Does anyone know what that is? Say we go after it. Finish the job. Anyone ever tell you you're scary? Yes. I mean, there's obviously a way out up there, which is exactly what we need. Plus, we give us eyes on where we need to go. Let us settle. Let us scale this down contraption. Yeah, okay. How do we do that? Good question. Huh. Looks like there's one of those vintage workbench things back here. Wouldn't surprise me. Okay, Rocky, let's see if this thing still works. Yeah, all right. Just better not get jumped by any monsters. Ding, ding, done. And it's done. Waiting for you so that we can scale this contraption. Starting to wonder if I should be the one with a fancy visor. I wouldn't trust a thing you said. We agree for once. I too would prefer Peter Quill's incompetence to the rodent's lies. Mora, how high up this thing can you climb? Let's find out! Are you relishing this moment, assassin? What moment? Visiting the grave of your enemies. Nova Corps weren't my enemies, Drax. They were my father's enemies. See anything useful up there? I got eyes on this gunked up reactor. A couple of shots should bring it down. The reactor thing there is pretty loose. And pretty gunked up. Ugh. Yo, Quill! Check out the upper wing strut! Alright, I'm pretty sure that baby's our ticket upward. Somehow. It is neither a baby nor a ticket. It is a reactor. Hey, Quill, am I giving the old girl a scan? Drax, moving that thing around ain't a problem, right? It is not. Just like the mighty Lady Hellbender, I am exceptionally muscular. This unit is tremendously heavy. Do you even know where to put it? I have merely followed our leader's directions. What's that I hear? The wing cables calling down to us? They want a date with your sword, Gamora. Really? I can cut those cables. I just need a way up. Uh, oh, what is taking so long? Are we doing something with that rusting hunk of metal or walked into weird plants, bro? Are you? Come on, they're pretty flark and weird.
First a down resistance ship, now a Novacore one. We're two out of three on Galactic War Bingo. What next, Peter Quill? Hmm. Uh, I wonder about that wing. This brings back memories! Impressive. See? That was easy. Great teamwork, everyone. I help in spirit. <laughs> All right. Slippery wind bubble treetops, here we come. You know, I uh, really admire our team's commitment to safety. We are not committed to safety. What? Safe-ish? Behold, Lady Hellbender's wrath. Even the Chitauri feared her. They didn't fear many back then. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Oh. Slimy. Uh, guys? You might want to wait to come down here. <clears throat> oh, why the flark is so deep? In a jam, boys? Uh, you think? Will not work, woman. Find us a rope. Yeah, it fast. Where am I supposed to find a rope? I don't know. I'm sinking in jelly here. Well, do something. Like what? Well. that once before when I was a kid. I don't do it on purpose. Classic Spartoi tech. Just when you think you've seen it all, you pull scud like this. Just go to... Please look down the wall. Quill, I just want to see how they tick. Otherwise, it might as well be magic. Or sorcery. Guys.
Let's figure out how to make it climbable. Stars are made of hydrogen, not gold. Be a planetoid. Barely any power. Maybe we can muscle those cannons out. It would give us some steps to climb. There's a little hole there. Might be able to work something loose from the inside. Drax, think you can drag this cannon out? I will try. It is more stubborn than expected. Rocket, you can fit through that hole. Maybe hack something from the inside to make a step. Drax, can you try again? Why? It does not stay. I'm working it out. Trust me. I cannot hold it forever! Impressive, Peter Quill. Rocket, I need you to squeeze inside that little hole and try to knock the gun loose from the inside. Hello, an Ari kit full of booby traps and death mechanisms. But you love both those things. Uh, you're right, I do. And I always wanted to see the inside of one of these bug bombers. Fine. Oh, what reeks in here? That's... Oh, Scott. Ah, ah. You okay in there, Rocket? I found the crew. I guess not even the worms want to eat dead Shatari meat. Rocket. Relax. Just gonna reroute the little bit of remaining power to the cannon and... Nothing. You know what? Lark it! I'm blowing it up! What? Hang on! Think about all the booby traps in Look at it go! He must have jump-started the thing! Lark it, you okay? <coughs> yeah! And dry now, too! Yes, Peter Quill! Onward to the palace of the great giantess! Oh, so she's a giantess now. It is said that Lady Hellbender stands 50 heads tall. Doesn't tell you much. Depends whose head. Ever met a regalian? <laughs> yes! Their heads are ridiculous! Oh, that is not a happy monster! Well, come oh, on. Why is the bridge always on the wrong side? I could throw... Touch me again and I paint these cliffs green! Okay, okay. No throwing and no shooting. There's gotta be another way across. We'll just look around. Lady Hellbender. Let me guess. She would have laid over the ravine and let us walk across on her back. I was going to explain that she would have thrown the woodland creature without hesitation. But your speculation is also conceivable. I used to believe that the rodents had the most impressive firearm in our group. If we can't get across it, maybe we can go around it. Looking for cracks, game for cracks, people. I feel like I've heard you say that before, but in a different context. The fortress is this way, Peter Quill. I know, I'm just doing some exploring. to know how Quill's guns can just make ice out of nothing. You don't have a clue, do you? He won't let me take him apart to find out. I'm gonna say crystals. No, no, no. Scratch that. Tiny dimensional rips. But how could you... Perhaps it is magic. It's not magic! I've got something here. It's deep. This looks promising. 
There's little room to maneuver if something should attack. We're not gonna be here long. Anybody see a way through? We'll make one if we have to. Yep. Definitely something gross behind here. Drax, can you chuck that through the stink wall? I fear I will regret this. Look! That is disturbingly fragrant. Okay, that's kind of weird. Hello? Anybody? Okay, that got my uh, blood pumping. Why would Lady Hellbender cage this creature? Because uh, it's annoying as stud. Perhaps it is food. That thing's food? Yes, monster food. I wonder what it tastes like. Peter. Why would it taste like that? I can use this. You know, we really got to work food? on your taste. Buzz. The cage. You get it? We need the cage. Taste we go into buzz. that fortress with our... Our monster peacefully walking beside us? We'll be laughed right out of the room. Any bites? Why are you whispering? Don't pet the tentacle thing. Two more things we can sell our monster act better if we have a proper cage. Only problem is there's a pissed off monster inside. Release the beast. Let me dispose of it because that worked so well for you last time. We need a better plan of attack. Yes. Ideally, one that guarantees my safety is needed. Stinky crawl spaces, and now all these monsters. I hate this flarking planet! You hate everything, Rocket. True, but especially the stinky slime tunnel part. Hey, we're a team. If we're gonna smell like butt, we're gonna smell like butt together. That is most eloquent, Peter Quill. I will smell like butt with you. Yeah, really great speech. Group, give me a bridge here. The fortress is right on the other side of those cliffs. I'm pretty sure it's this way, but I don't see an easy way to get up there. <laughs> Deep freeze. Whoa! Did I try ice cubing something? Nope. Man, you're such a gas flat! So if we're gonna haggle with the monster, how much are we asking for our monster? What do you mean, don't get greedy? We're running a business here. We need to make a profit this time. Hey, Quill. Better not forget what we talked about earlier. Yeah, it's not Don't worry, Rocket. So, when are the rest of us gonna get jet boots? It takes years of special training to operate these things. You had years of jet boots. You no, know, but the guy I took them off of did. You stole them. He was dead. Flew into a ceiling fan. Whoa, that 
Burg is definitely in my top ten fortresses. What the fuck? You said that quarantine zone monster was supposed to be rare. She already has a whole herd of them? So we wasted our time. Almost got killed for nothing. And got arrested. That was fun. It was moderately amusing. Now we've got a ticking time bomb on the ship. Guys, every misstep was just a step in the right direction towards completing our best plan yet. Say that again? What if we brought one of those ugly suckers all the way here only to find out Lady H already had a full set? That would have sucked big time. Exactly. If we even got that far. What if we'd been towing that thing when Nova Corp... Let's just get this done. Infinity Bridge is what it is. Are uh, you being dramatic, Rodent? Bridge ends at the fortress, therefore it's not. Yeah, that's super comforting. Guess we gotta go. Three cycles. Peter? Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, right. The cage. When we get the far, can things look like the new business? Group. You ready to squeeze in? Peter Quill, there's still time to reconsider. The tree creature is not very monstrous. Drax, we're doing this just like we planned on the Milano. You're being stubborn. Clearly the rodents are the one I am not being stubborn. I just refuse to change my mind. Because it's the right decision. Hey, lovebirds, let's go. Bridge ain't gonna cross itself. I hope Lady Hellbender is as gullible as you expect she is. You hang tight there, bud. When the time comes, I'll get you out of there. Rocket style, I got it. Drat. Gamora, can you help me with no. this? What? Why? To guarantee your safety as our leader. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, don't look at me, I ain't pulling that thing. Remember, buddy, menacing! Like me, only uh, bigger. I am rude. Not bad, not bad. Okay, here we go. clicks from the fortress. I'd say closer to 75. There is only one way to know for sure. 0 0.1 clicks. 0 0.2 clicks. 0 0.9. 2.1. 0 0.3 clicks. 4.5. 0 0.4 clicks. 0 0.5 clicks. 0 0.66 click clicks.
whole years. Look at you. Where does time go? I'll be up in a sec, I promise. Right. Give me a sec. I didn't think you'd actually come up. Maybe being on time is my new thing. Oh, right. We'll see about that when I have to get you up for school tomorrow. You know, I think I'm too old for that, too. Nice try, smart Alec. Sit. Don't worry, I'm not gonna sing. I like your singing. Well, you might be the only one. Go on, make a wish. You're officially a teenager. Look at all those girlfriends. Someone's going to be really popular at school. Mom. What? You are very handsome. I'm sure all the girls are going to be falling off. Mom. Home. What did you wish for? Why would I wish for anything? I've got everything I want. <laughs> oh, what huge favor are you about to ask me? Just ten bucks. Dan, Andy, and I want to go see Night of the Cosmos at the Rio tonight. A movie? Tonight. Come on. It's going to be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. I don't think I'd want you to see that, Peter. I let you watch the hockey mask one, and you were sleeping in my bed the next three nights. You watched The Exorcist when you were younger than me. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. No, I just, I, I wanted us to... Have some us time tonight, you know? Maybe finish our game. You can't duck out right when I'm about to win. Okay, it's not that. It's, it's opening night and it's my birthday, you know? It was meant to be. Meant to be, huh? Pretty please? I don't know. Truck's still in the shop and I don't want you walking alone in the dark. There's been a lot of weirdos out there. It's not safe. I'll be careful, Ma. I always am. Were you careful when you got that black eye? I told you I, I was... I know! You were standing up for someone, which is a good thing. But you cannot go punching your way out of every problem, Peter. I couldn't just stand there. No. Of course not. Okay, get me my purse. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about. Something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. Hey Kubrick, buddy. No matter how long you wait here for Grandma and Grandpa, they're not coming back. Sorry. I should make you clean your room before you leave. Please don't. One day, I'll have to get down there and just throw everything out. Sometimes Grandma and Grandpa would let me sleep with them if I was too afraid down in the basement. Thank <laughs> you.